that. This right here is the Toyota RAV4. RAV4. I don't know why they call it there. It's got four wheels or four doors. Uh, five doors? I don't know. I'm in the town. We gotta go buy some stuff for the baby shower that's happening on Saturday. Kathy's really nervous about it, but it's gonna come together. That looks pretty sweet. It doesn't look too bad. It's a good color. But while she's thinking uh, baby shower, I'm thinking wheels and waves. And this is when I'm bringing the wheels and waves. Sorry about that. I don't have anything that exciting this time, but it does carry a lot of stuff, and I got a lot of stuff that I gotta bring. Whatever we do, I hope we go buy some candy. What? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. You said, what's up? What are we doing? I don't know. It's baby shower time. I know. Gotta buy a bunch of... It's more like food. Food. You nervous about the baby shower? Well, actually, I'm nervous about having so many people over. I've never had so many people in a shower at one time, ever. And why do they call it I shower? I mean, I it's, it's it's because you're showering towels. them? Hey, you're showering them with gifts. We are? Does that mean we have to go buy more stuff? I think we're better. We're buying food. I can shower them with, with M&Ms. What do you think of the uh, Toyota RAV4 that we're currently driving today? I think it's great. What do you like most about it? Uh, I guess the color. Down there. there is. Mustang says war duck. Am I going the wrong way? Yep. Pretty cool. But now we have other things to think about. And what we have to think about is blowing up balloons. We have to blow up balloons. Yeah. The baby shower is tomorrow, so uh, we're trying to get prepared. It's a, a, a manic thing to handle, especially with this one. our own business and we've spotted cockapoos in the wild you gotta stay really quiet I because they, they are a little dangerous they tend to gnaw and lick uh, probably lick more than gnaw but one is bad but two is worse this one right here he's very dangerous the other one well she's doing her business right now I don't really want to talk about that this one's hiding behind oh there she is look at that look at that scary evil face oh they're getting closer they're flanking us Come here, Sammy. Come here. Getting dangerous. Come here. Come here, you horrible, scary, evil vixen, you. Strawberry. 
strawberry cake. Strawberry cake for the, the baby shower. It's kind of like white cake, but strawberry. Kathy doesn't like cake, which is a plus for me, because every time there is a cake that's in the house, I think I have it. Have it. Okay, and there's a lot of stuff uh, to go over. I think I finished that cake. Need a little extra time today because we got a few things. We got a few things, and I have a an announcement for a giveaway uh, that's in one of these boxes. Actually, there's two of these things. Uh, these were sent to me. Well, I'll get to that. Uh, uh, stay tuned. Let me let me uh, let me do one thing at a time. Uh, first thing, uh, Rick White. Your article came out in the Surfside News. There's there's Rick's Woody. Check that out. Can you see that? Yeah, that Rick is Woody's uh, called Ruby. So. Uh, uh, Rick, if you're watching right now, you have an article in the paper. Yeah, I'll see you at Wheels and Waves, which, by the way, is is like in two days or less. By the time this goes up, it's actually tomorrow. I think it's going to be an epic show. I think it's going to be a really interesting show because uh, I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of uh, uh, energy, a lot of excitement, and the fact that the vintage car show has shut down. Those people have got no place to go. Might as well come to Wheels and Waves. Second thing, second thing is that we have the Toyota RAV4 which showed up. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that car because, because, because I can't. You know, 2018 uh, Toyota RAV4. It's a pretty sweet ride. I mean, it's a simple mid-size SUV from Toyota. It's uh, about 32,000, a little over 32. You could probably get it for uh, a bit less. Uh, entry level, a 2.5 liter dual overhead cam, four cylinder, 176 horsepower with, uh, you know, around the same amount of torque. Comes with a host of features, which I'm pretty sure I have not discovered all of them yet. It's not like the Sequoia. Uh, I I'm pretty sure you could fit this entire car in the Sequoia. for the week, uh, taking that to Wheels and Waves, gonna be able to truck all that, the stuff I need to Wheels and Waves in the back of the, of the RAV4. Um, but I have one other thing, a, a little story that I, I neglected to mention in the last few days since I got back from Hobby DB, and that was that I was in the in the airport and uh, sitting, waiting for my flight. I was on the phone, texting and doing things that you generally do on your phone. And then I suddenly heard uh, what amounted to be last call for my flight, and I kind of lost track of time. So I, I pulled all my stuff together and I jumped up and I ran as I stood in line and because I was in in like like in the back of the plane I, I had to stand in line there so I stood in line there for about five minutes and then I um I reached down to, to grab my phone again and it was gone and that's when it happened I don't freak hardly ever I don't worry I don't have anxiety I don't uh, you know I, I generally I'm pretty stable the thought of my wallet being gone was not a good thing, let alone my phone. And you know, it's all kind of one one thing. You know, it's got uh, you know, this is my encyclopedia. You open it up, it's got you know, it's got the phone, and it's got all the doodads and everything over there. So I huff it back to where I was sitting, and the phone is not there. And what came through my mind is, oh great, someone has taken my phone and uh, gone. You know, and there's lots of cameras around uh, airports. So you know, ultimately over a period of time, but I would miss my flight. I would find the person that took it. But it turns out, ran up to the desk right in front of where I was uh, about to catch my flight and there was this dude this dude was standing this dude right here this gentleman his name was Todd Went he works for Sherman Williams he is a um, sales representative for Sherwin Williams automotive paints car guy car guy he's standing there with my phone turning my phone in now it says a lot about a person uh, who is someone who is willing to uh, find something like somebody's wallet and and bring it uh, bring it to a place where it can get turned in not walk off with it. So I, I, I have enormous gratitude for Todd. Uh, Todd, if you're watching right now, I am so grateful for something like that because my world would have been turned upside down if it was gone. I want you guys to check out Sherwin-Williams Automotive Paints right there. Sherwin-Williams Automotive Paints. And I want you to call Todd if you're looking to, to paint a car or do something cool. So Todd, you're a stand-up dude. I want the world to know it. Thank you so much for uh, returning my wallet to me. Much appreciated. And it, it just goes to show that we can build up good karma in lots of different ways. You always gotta do what's right. You always gotta do what's right. And the last thing, the last thing is, is that uh, these two things here were sent to me from a company called Woodgrain Watches at woodgrainwatches.com. They wanted me to show you guys uh, something cool about these things. Now they sent me two and I, I can't wear two watches. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give one of these guys away. So let's take a look at them real quick. Ooh check that out. That's nice. That I think is called the Tokyo watch. 
Look at the wood. Really, really nice quality. You know, the interesting thing about this watch is because it's not metal, is that it's really lightweight, but the, the wood quality is really, really nice. Can you see the inside? Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I think this is the New York version. There you go. That's the New York version. One's a light color and one's a dark color. Yeah, those are pretty nice. Very, very cool. Now, like I said, I don't normally wear watches, but I'm gonna keep one of these, but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide which one I should give away. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what it is that, that you guys think you would like, the dark or the light. And then next week, after the baby shower, after Wheels and Waves, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. We have to do a special giveaway. I wanna thank Woodgreen Watches for, for sending these out to us and, um, uh, it's really uh, a great company, and it's, they really make a great product. And I, I'm, I'm really amazed, like I said, how light these are and how comfortable they are to wear because it's not like a, uh, a big metal watch. Look at that. Looks pretty sweet. All right, these watches retail for about 210 bucks, So uh, they're pretty nice. And uh, I want you, one of you guys to have it. And hold on a second. As we, uh, we have been preparing for the the baby shower and we're going to be doing a, a newlywed game kind of game that's happening. Uh, there's going to be three couples uh, including Sean and Isla which is you know, our kids. They'll we'll be doing a newlywed type game and there's going to be a winner who's going to get this paper plate award with a big shimmery uh, number one there. And number two and you know if you if you get number two you suck so your plate is going to be cut in half and you get you know second place. And then of course there's the baby shower uh, loser plate which is this is the loser plate it looks like crap it's been burned it's been shot through it's got bullet holes all kinds of you know you don't, you don't want to be the loser although I wouldn't mind being the loser because I like the plate I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it because uh, there's gonna be a lot of people here a lot of party stuff going on well I'll do the best I can we got wheels and waves coming on Sunday wheels and waves is gonna be happening we got all kinds of cool stuff we got Simon Reed coming in uh, stuntman actor amazing martial arts incredible martial artist no he's not gonna be throwing me off a building or jumping cars through the show he's just gonna be walking through the show uh, but you're gonna get a chance to meet him all right guys thanks for hanging out with me today uh, be sure to, to friend us up on Facebook Twitter Instagram Pinterest I love you guys. You know I do. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you tomorrow.